Greetings, Eric Becker, New Zealand naturopath, author of Candida Crusher, formulator of the Candida range of products. I got a question here from a lady called Mary McAlpine in New York. And Mary is asking me, Eric, do I have to eat all the foods on the foods to eat list on the Candida diet, or can I just have some? You don't have to eat all the foods, it's crazy. I mean, why would you want to eat all the foods? Most people are going to eat between 9 to 12 foods most of their lives. They're going to rotate, you know, around certain types of foods. What you can do, however, is experiment, you know, with different types of vegetables, especially, and also seeds, nuts, and grains. When you put a new food into your diet, you need to do it slowly. Don't you go straight into large portions, you know, several times a week. Small amounts to let your digestive system get used to that food. This is a mistake many people make, is they make very rapid uh, diet changes. They drop something cold turkey, and then they go hot turkey on something else, okay? So you don't want to go hot or cold, you want to go warm, okay? Warm turkey tastes a lot nicer than hot or cold turkey, believe me. I've never really tasted turkey before. And I know a lot of Americans I've talked to like it, but last time I had turkey at someone's house, it was really dry. It just didn't taste that good. So try and look at the foods that you're currently eating, Mary, and then have a look maybe at two or three or four other kind of vegetables that you could like to incorporate into your diet. It's not bad for you to try other kind of foods. But to answer that question, no, you don't have to eat all the foods you know, on the, on the preferred foods list. Pick out two or three proteins you really like. Pick out maybe a half a dozen or you know, 10 vegetables that you like. Look at the fruits that I recommend, the avocado, the berries, the pomegranate, the kiwi, uh, often okay to eat. Uh, look at some different nuts, some different seeds, some different grains. And just incorporate, you know, maybe one new one of each of these into your diet and see how you feel. And that's going to go a long way towards building your health. I hope that answers your question. Click on the link below if you haven't got my report. And please subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.